What's up everyone, I'm Rick Knight. Welcome back to another video here at The Bad Philosopher. So a transgender walks into a GameStop at Albuquerque, New Mexico, gets called a sir and goes ape shit. That's not a premise or joke, that really happened. There's a video circling. I'm sure you guys saw it all over the internet, all over YouTube, of an individual who's a transgender walked into a GameStop to return some items. Um, had a little dispute with the person behind the counter, the the, the person behind, the man behind the counter, called this individual sir, and he lost his mind. He was yelling, no, I'm not a sir, I'm a man. That's the second time I have to tell you. Um, and he was cursing, and then a woman on the side was like, excuse me, sir, but there's a child here. She called him sir. Oh, it was great. He was like, I'm not a sir, I'm a ma'am. Uh, then, then at one point, he even offered to go outside and fight the guy behind the counter. He was like, come outside and I'll show you a sir. But it was just funny because one second he was like, I'm a ma'am. What did you say? I will fuck you up. Like, no, you're not a ma'am. You, like, you look like your name is Steve. All you needed was a haircut, change your shirt and your shoes, put the damn bag down, and you're back to being a boy again. Like, you weren't even very passable. Like, you're not even a 3 a.m. girl. You're not a girl that at 3 a.m. I'll take her home from the bar and just sneak her into the house so nobody sees her bringing another fat chick home. Like, you're not passable. You can't fool me. If you can fool me, then I'll call you a, a ma'am, right? If I look at you and I'm like, yo, I'll bang the shit out of her. What, that's a dude? Oh, damn, you got me. You, no. No, you right off the bat, like I looked at you, it's like, I, I wouldn't want to have sex with you. I look at you like, I don't want to fight you. Like, you're not passable. This is insane. This is crazy. Like, I would want to do some wild jujitsu shit on you if you came at me, right? If a girl came at me, I'd probably just cover up so I don't get smacked in the face and walk away from her. Like, this dude looks like he can fuck me up. Like, get out of here. You're not a, you're not a man. You're a sir. You know, this is insane. But look, you know, we shouldn't be making fun of this individual because when you, if you watch the video, you can see that it looked like, the, you know, this person has some anger issues maybe, maybe even, uh, um, you know, psychological issues. And we really, you know, I shouldn't, shouldn't really be making fun of him. Uh, you know, maybe he, he needs therapy, which a lot of transgender people do need therapy. So we really shouldn't be making fun of them, but it is fun to do so. Um, but look, here's the problem. I cannot identify you based on the identity that you chose for yourself. I can only identify you based on how my brain perceives you, right? Because this is my brain, this is how I see the world, and I can only call things based on how I see it, just like you can only call things based on how you see it. Now, what what do you expect that's gonna happen with all this transgender stuff? Are you, what, were you gonna force us to recognize you based on how you wanna be recognized? What what do you recommend? That, that, that there's violence used against us, that we we go to jail, that we have to pay a fine, that, that, that we're excommunicated from the world? Like, what do you expect to happen if an individual won't recognize you based on how you want to be recognized. Like, how do we, what's the moral solution to something like this? Um, you know, it almost sounds like a religion. You know, this is something religion used to do back in the days. The Christians, the Muslims, a lot of other religions, you know, they, they brought their religion, uh, 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 brought it through into your town, and if you didn't believe what they believed, then they, they just murdered you. I mean, that's just how it was. And that's what's going on with it, with this whole LGBTQ, R2, D2, C3, PO community where, you know, if you don't accept, you know, their politics, if you don't accept their way of seeing the world, if you don't perceive things the way they perceive things, you know, they want to burn you down. They want to burn your house down with your family in it. They want to kill your children. They want to kick your puppy. Like, this is insane. What is the solution to all this? You know, how about we just, you know, have some dignity and respect towards each other, uh, uh, agree to disagree, and just move on. You know, you think there's multiple genders. I think there's only two genders, male and female. And, you know, look, at least I won't lie to you. At least I have the decency to tell you upfront how I feel about the situation and, and, and not just you know, say, you know, call you ma'am and then behind your back, you know, uh, 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 you know, say, no, that's a dude. You, you know what I mean? Like, this is insane. I, what is the solution to this whole situation? We don't see things the same way. Christians and Muslims and Jews and, 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 and Hindus and, and, and Buddhists, they don't see things the same way, but yet we call for unity amongst them. The atheists, I'm an atheist, I don't see things the way the religious people see things, but yet we have to have unity. With the transgender community, we don't see things eye to eye the same way, but we have to have unity. So, you know, I mean, this is just insane. Um, well, watch the video. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment. Hit the bell. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Um, uh, whatever else you can do to help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.